Out to Jay Hart, joining us from WRVA Richmond. Jay, the mom, did she tell her husband and everyone else that the baby girl was stillborn? The only thing that she told her husband, and apparently told investigators as well, was that she had a baby in utero that had died. And the prosecutor, in arraignment, said that some mystery doctor, which she alluded to, had told her that she needed to carry this dead child to full term. She told her husband this, and her husband believed it. And on August 25th, her husband was somewhere else, that her, his whereabouts not yet revealed. But uh, she called her husband, said that she had given birth to the stillborn child and had some people come in and take the body away. Husband came home that evening to help her clean up. Several hours later is uh, what the testimony is at this point in time. And of course, this is only through arraignment that we know this. We don't know the full details at this point. But as you heard in the report, that uh, husband was helping clean things up and heard some sort of sound in the dryer, thought it was a cat who had gotten trapped in there, went into the dryer, opened it up, found the pillowcase, and inside the pillowcase, a plastic bag, and inside the plastic bag, the couple's eight-pound baby, who was well, uh, let me tell you something, in good Jay condition. Hart. Let me tell you something, Jay Hart. Eight pounds is a full-term baby. Eight pounds. I mean, Lucy, my little Lucy came into this world at two pounds and her twin brother at five. Eight pounds is a fully developed baby. And Jay Hart joining us from Richmond, WRVA, is telling us it's, the baby was not only wrapped in a pillowcase, but a plastic bag left to die.